Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the FTM token. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, FTM has done really, really well uh, during all these harsh times for the crypto markets. As you can see, we haven't had you know strong pullbacks. You can consider this a strong pullback, obviously, but the last update that I did on FTM was November 25th, and we were sitting at around about two, two and a half dollars, somewhere around here. And I did give you this support way back then over here, and we dropped through that support over here and landed on this uh, white trend line of the channel or the support trend line of the channel up pattern, because as you can see, we are in a channel up pattern with a little fake out over here. So we dropped below this, we went uh, and broke through it, and now we're, we have back tested it as support, and we're moving to the upside and looking to take out the 1.618 at $2.51. So $1.77 is still a good support that I will be eyeballing for potential entries for FTM. Now, if we see a potential flash crash, right, and... There is always a possibility that we may get a flash crash, a black swan event. Anything can happen, really. Uh, you want to be eyeballing the 786, as you can see over here, at $1.37. And the first FIB level here at $1.60. Now, in, in the last video that I did on FTM, I only gave you the support over here, this white trend line. But the resistance and the actual channel up pattern, I think I gave on Twitter or on Discord, one of those two. So make sure to follow those. The links are in the description. But as you can see, if you had these resistance, if you had this resistance line up, you would have seen that this is where you can run into, right? And you could have sold here and bought back at a support level over here and done the same thing over here, which was a nice, what was that? Nice 30% discount over here and a nice 35 percent discount over here basically what's happening is we're running into the second fib level over here at three dollars and 32 cents and we can seem to break that as resistance so yeah this is uh this is a major resistance level that we're gonna have and we need to break it obviously and to back test it as support because if you start breaking parabolically and doing something like that when you're going to start uh, rolling, you're not going to have any support levels below you and you're just going to free fall, free fall to uh, to obscurity, basically. So it's healthy to have those retests. Now, uh, the Fibonacci retracement that we have set up over here is uh, let me just show you. OK, so I do apologize. The Fib retracement was set up a bit uh, in a in a, in a re weird way over here, so I do apologize about that. So this is our swing low here in July, and this is our swing high in May. And the 1.618 target was over here at $3.15, and that's where we ran into twice already. Now, the price tags and the support levels that I just gave you are still valid because you have landed on those zones previously. Uh, so we do have $1 over here and we do have $1.65 over here. These are key levels as well. We have $1.81, 81.5 over here at this white support trend line. I'm going to change the color of that so it's uh, easier to spot it. There we go. That's going to be actually pink isn't a good color for that one. All right, let's make it yellow. There we go. And I would also eyeball the support trend line over here. So if we uh, do something like this, we can run into either the resistance of the channel up pattern or into the 1.618 once again and get rejected back down. And we can bounce off of this trend line and basically go up and down, up and down in this channel up pattern until you break to the upside or you break to the downside if you have like a flash crash or a black swan event which is always possible. But I just recommend dollar cost averaging if you're buying in for the long term and don't worry about the mid to short term price fluctuations. Now jumping into the daily RSI over here. Let's see what's going on. So let me just draw a trend line straight away. Can I get a trend line? Thank you very much. So there we go. So this is going to be a resistance trend line we should be eyeballing because 
We've hit this trend line twice before, okay? Let's change the color of that to pink this time because that will stand out better. There we go. So potentially you are gonna be uh, running into this trend line as resistance and that can be a great take profit zone for, for the FTM holders, right? If you're looking for a swing trade or you just want to buy, uh, or you just want to sell, right? If you bought in, let's say, at this yellow trend line that I gave months ago, and you want to, let's say, take profit. And if we do run into that resistance, I would assume it would be somewhere around $2.65. So that's around about 40 to 50% trade over here. And I think that would mean that we would start running into this pink trend line on the RSI. So draw this out on your chart, have it on your chart, make sure to follow it. And if it's not on your chart and you just open up the videos you, or you constantly need to open up other videos to see these patterns, you know, it, ju it just takes up a lot of time. So make sure to draw this out on your chart. Uh, you'll get familiar with the tools and you'll get familiar with the charts. Obviously, if you see yourself uh, get rejected and get sent all the way down here into the oversold zone, which is below the index of 30, Anything below the index of 30 is oversold and anything uh, above the index of 70 is overbought. So we're going to take a look at the weekly chart right now on the Binance uh, chart. This was a trading view. Now jumping into the weekly chart. So you can see that we're doing very good actually over here. We've landed on the 20 EMA on the weekly chart. We haven't even had a bounce off the 55 EMA. So that's something that you want to Keep an eye on the red line is the 55 EMA. The yellow is the 20 EMA. So on the weekly chart, the 55 EMA can hold us as support just like it did over here during the summer pullback. So keep that in mind. Have the buy orders ready and set to go if you're looking to enter at lower prices. But I would say right now is a good dollar cost averaging opportunity, but not right now. I'm just going to give you some support levels later on. Uh, jumping into the stochastic RSI on the weekly, we are in the oversold right now and we're starting to move to the upside away from that zone. So pay attention to the stochastic RSI. Once you get into the overbought here above the index of 80, now the, the overbought zone for the stochastic RSI is a bit different from the relative strength index uh, because over there it's above 70 you're considered overbought, but here above 80, you're considered overbought. So yeah, look for that on the daily and on the weekly chart. Those are good indicators. And if we take a look at the weekly RSI over here, as you can see, this is how overbought you were on the weekly chart during the March uh, run up that it had and during the November slash October run up. So right now, as you can see, we're pretty neutral, I would say, sitting at the index of 55 over here not having any sudden movements to either of the sides. Okay, now jumping into the four hourly chart. So if we zoom out a little bit over here, you can see that we are in a large uh, ascending triangle over here. If I just extend this trend line a bit over here, you can see that we're constantly making higher lows and we're hitting our head on the same resistance level. So what this means is that we're actually starting to build momentum and eventually, once we get closer to the apex, we're going to see a huge breakout and we can get to those large targets that uh, we have on the Fibonacci retracement. We're going to take a look at the trading view chart to set some long term targets because I haven't been doing a lot of TA for FTM on this channel. I uh, will try to do more. Let me know in the comment section if that's something that you'd like. But let's jump into the stochastic RSI. This is why I told you I wouldn't recommend getting into FTM or any tokens right now because the markets are seemingly recovering. But like I said, I think this is temporarily and I do expect another move to the downside. So we're in the overbought on the stochastic on the four hourly chart. The MACD, which is a lagging indicator, but a confirmation indicator as well is showing us that we are in an uptrend and we're getting very overbought over here on the MACD, not overbought, but overextended where the yellow moving average gets far away from the signal line. So the red line is the signal line. Once there is a cross that gives you a signal. And on the four hourly RSI, as you can see, we are in the overbought above the index of 70. So we're overbought on all indicators. We need to backtest the 20 EMA on the four hourly. So if you want to get in right now, 
I would at least wait for a back test of the 4 hourly EMA. Uh, but if you want to wait a bit longer, I would wait for a retest of this white trend line. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see how the trend line is drawn and you can draw it on your own chart. Now, jumping back into trading view, I did say that we're going to take a look at some long term targets. So we're going to use the Fibonacci retracement to set those targets. So we do have this three dollar and 15 cents, one point six one eight target, which was our target after breaking this first Fib level. So Once you break the first Fib level, you are in a technical target to the one point six one eight. And as you can see, we got there perfectly Then had a retracement uh, below the one point two seven two, then had another run at the 1.618 failed to break through and we're having another pullback but this time the pullback is a bit higher than the previous one so we're actually looking like we're going to break through this time so the next target above the 1.618 is the second fib level at six dollars and 45 cents so that's another target that you are um uh, that you can take a look at and probably add to your charts then we have ten dollars and 72 cents and the last target is the 2.414 at $14. So we'll see if we can get to those crazy numbers by the end of the bull market. But I would say getting to the second fib level, I think is very possible, which actually at this point isn't that much, right? So I do think we, we potentially can get at least to $10 this bull market. So yeah, we'll see how overextended we get, guys. Feel free to let me know in the comment section if I missed out anything on the charts. Let me know what you think of Phantom. Do you want more updates? I usually do weekly updates for all the cryptos that we follow here on the channel. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. I do post technical analysis in there for some of the projects that we don't follow on the channel and some of the ones that we do as well. We do have a Telegram chat with a great community of people. We do have a Discord server where you can stay up to date with the latest crypto news and uh, request technical analysis, get useful resources, NFT, airdrop uh, alerts, all that kind of stuff. And we do have a Patreon as well, which is a great a place for you to get a lot more extra content. I do uh, almost 60 posts per month now. So three to four, two to four posts a day, uh, buy alerts, sell alerts, technical analysis requests, video requests, low cap jump calls, mid cap project highlights, market sentiment analysis, all that type of stuff is in there. So think of it as buying a cup of coffee, but instead of the coffee, you get a lot of useful information for 30 days that will potentially make you quite a bit of money. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.